everybody, welcome back to another Miami vlog. Bienvenidos a Miami, welcome to Miami. We are here, buenos dias, good morning. This is day two in Miami and wow, we had a good day last night. I actually forgot to close out the vlog. After we went from Bayside Marketplace, we went home and pretty much took a shower and went to bed. We were spent for the night since we were up since four in the morning, but today we are refreshed and we are ready to go. On our schedule today, we are going on a Cuban food tour. Everybody knows if you come to Miami, you have to try the Cuban food. You have to get a Cuban sandwich and whatnot. And so today we're going on a little Havana food tour. So that's on our agenda. We also might stop by the beach, but I'm hoping the food is great because y'all know that for all can courage, I love travel, I love food. So this is a huge part of it. I think it's gonna be great and filling and delicious, but you know, hopefully, you know, we'll have a great experience there. We'll, we'll find out if everything is as cracked up as it needs to be. Hun is in the back getting ready. You can kind of see him back there. And we are still in our gorgeous hotel room. Hotel Victor is amazing, highly recommend. It's only been one night, but so far, so good. It is a beautiful, beautiful Monday morning here at Hotel Victor. Ah, folks are out, sun's out, gun's out. The pool looks right. The beach in the far background looks right. It's gonna be a good day. Let's go. Thank you. We just had a lovely Uber ride dropped off by a Haitian guy who spoke both a little bit of Spanish as well as French. So we were kind of speaking French and there's another guy from New York in the Uber pool. We had a great conversation about like tiles and languages. That's the beauty of Uber pools. You, you never know who you can run into and talk to. And so now we're dropped off on Calle Ocho to go on our Cuban food tour. And this is our first peek around the block. There's Hans. Hey. So, and it smells amazing. You can tell um, that it's gonna be a good tour already. So here's a little bit of the scenery behind me. As you can get a, a quick check of that out. So we're gonna go to our meetup location and get some food and get something to eat. Yeah, you ready? Let's do it. Let's go.
and empanadas and some Cuban coffee and a little ventanita, just like local too. So I'm gonna put some food in your belly in just a moment, I promise. Uh, we will talk about Tower Theater. We'll talk about Domino Park. It's one of the most popular places here in Little Havana. We're gonna have some mojitos at Ball and Chain. You know, maybe you could dance off some of the food I'm gonna feed you today. We'll have a Cuban sandwich because I think if you come to Miami, especially in Little Havana, you should try a Cuban sandwich. We'll visit a little bakery. We'll have a pastry there. We're gonna go to a little fruteria. We'll have some fresh juice. Visit Cuban Mora Boulevard. We're gonna go to a cigar factory, have some ice cream. I think that's it. If not, we'll fit it in there. So don't worry about tipping in the restaurants. I'm taking care of everything for you. here in Miami and you ask for a coffee a lot of people they're they're gonna assume there will be like do you want cafe cubano like they assume that's what, what you're ordering Gracias. and don't come here and ask for decaf <laughs> there's like a walk of fame here too let's catch up we're running behind so I told you this street was called Calle Ocho Southwest A Street. It's also called Tamiami Trail. And it used to be a dirt road in the early 1900s that led all the way through the Everglades up to Tampa. And it connected Tampa and Miami. That's why they called it Tamiami. It was a combination of words. So this neighborhood really started to de develop in the 20s. And a large amount of Cuban refugees start fleeing into this area. They wanted to find a place to start a new beginning. And that's how it gained its name Little Havana after the largest city in Cuba.
mojitos at Ball and Chain, which is right over there. And let me tell you, those mojitos were off the chain. Like those were so good. They were so sweet. They had fresh ingredients. Oh my gosh, so good. And now we're on our way to Domino. We just finished eating Cuban sandwiches at Old Havana and it was absolutely delicious. Babe even had two sandwiches. Yep, it hit the spot. Yep, hit the spot. It was so good. They also come, um, if you're not into, there we go, we're walking along the street to our next spot. If you're not into pork, they also have beef sandwiches, so don't sleep on it just because you don't like pork. But the pork sandwich was awesome. It was savory, it was hearty, it was filling. So if you need something delicious to eat, check that out. Now we're on our way to a bakery. Um, but this place is called the Stills Bakery 
we're going to have a little pastry here, like I mentioned. We're going to have a pastelito. Pastelitos are puff pastries, and they do them savory or sweet. We're going to have a, kind of have like a sweet and savory one. It's going to be filled with guava and cream cheese. Guava kind of tastes like strawberry, but it's a little more tart. Look at that one. All right. Since you're right here, <laughs> go ahead and so it has this flaky outer dough. It's quite crumbly, so you're yeah. going to wear a lot of this all over your face, all over your shirt. Don't worry, it brushes right off. <laughs> Inside, like I said, is made with cream cheese and guava. They take guava and they cook it with sugar, so it's almost like a little bit of a jam. And I know it's a sweet treat, but this is a snack for any time of the day here in Miami. That's the white favorite. <laughs> Coconuts. Oh. Yummy. So this is Los Bean, or I know it's the Fruiteria, and this is the oldest open air market in Miami. They have juice in here. We call they it have fake. They have coffee, they fake. have snacks as well. And so that has been owned and run by the same family for 50 years five years and they used to be Cuban farmers it's a husband and wife and their two sons the husband passed away about two and a half years ago but now it's run by a mom she's back there making her juices and then her two sons one of her sons is Angel and her other son is Pete Angel's one of my favorite person here in all of Little Havana I love this place family owner run, run and operated and they know so much about fruits and vegetables and plants I come in here I see things I've never seen before. But we're gonna have fresh mango juice here because it is mango season in Miami right now and they are just dumping off of all of the trees. So you saw the green coconuts, you would hand that to Angel, he would take a machete, he would chop off the top of it, he would stick a straw in it, you drink the water inside it. It's very refreshing, has great electrolytes in it. It's in honor of the Bay of Pigs. So let me tell you about that a little bit. It was in 1961, they launched 1,400 Cuban exiles to invade their own homeland. This kind of was like in hopes to create this uproar with the Cuban population and push out Fidel Castro and try to create a non-communist government, but it didn't go there. How long does it take him to do one cigar? Not long. No, Watch no. him, yeah. So what he's doing is the first process uh -huh. before they go into the press. So you see he's laying down those softer leaves uh -huh. and then he took the filler leaf, he mixes them up and he's rolling it. He'll cut off the end and then he'll push it into the mold. Once he's done filling this whole mold up, he'll put the cap on it and then he'll push it into the press. And then the second process might be done later or which is where they take that soft relief and they put it on top. But you can see the texture wise how much different.
addition of a Cuban treat. So Cubans love to take a Maria cracker, a slice of guava, and a slice of uh, cream cheese. We like to put it together and have it with coffee. Now you get to have it in an ice cream. So this is a trademark flavor. So I wasn't always an ice cream maker. I was a banker. I'll do it quick so this doesn't melt. So I was a banker for 20 years. Banking industry comments in 2008. I decide to go to Penn State. So Penn State has an ice cream school. I go to Penn State. I go to another school in St. Louis, and I come back. And I build this. So if you look at the floors, these are replicas of the same tiles that you would see in Cuba today, like you would see them, you know, 50 years ago. The actual seating are Guayabera seats, so those are like men's custom shirts. And I added the plastic because when my grandmother came from Cuba, there was like a crazy phenomenon that everybody had plastic on their furniture. So as gross as that is, when you're wearing shorts, you take it with you. So that's what we have here. All ice cream are made here. We need for day everything at Homestead. Enjoy your ice cream and thank you for visiting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, oh, we love the rest because we're on the cooking channel twice this, uh, this coming month. And we're going to be in the American Airlines magazine in August. And we are just in the New York Times. So, Very cool. yes. so we're growing. We're growing. We also have a store in Dallas if anybody's ever in Dallas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry, but it is for the Lola Maria. Thank you for having me. extra money if you elect to walk just a little like maybe a block or two to meet the uber like so worth it and you get to see what's around you so we just finished the cuban food tour and it was delicious yes it was i highly yeah. recommend it so definitely something to do one of the best things we've done so far what do you say i totally agree loved it our tour guide was amazing check out the miami culinary food tours it's a great company and our tour actually Yes. Yep. Our tour guide Ashley was the best. She was so energetic and knowledgeable and gave us time to actually eat. I'm a slow eater, so I'm very thankful. Thank you, Ashley. You did an awesome job if you see this. Everybody book a tour and definitely get one with her if you can. It was, she was amazing. The best. She was the best. Yep, she was the goat. And now we're on our way to our hotel. We're actually gonna try to check out South Beach. We've been here for a day. This is day number two, so we're gonna go to the beach and see what that's like. Yeah.